Uh, Ukraine's declaration of martial law, of course, may be over, but its long-simmering tensions with Russia continue. So let's get some insight from Yulia Mendel. She's a Ukrainian journalist joining us now live from uh, Kiev. Yulia, how did people in Ukraine view this martial law? We heard there from Vladimir Putin saying that this was done domestically in Ukraine with electoral intentions in mind. And more so, how do they view it being ended? Hi, Roy. Thank you for having me here. In fact, the martial law didn't affect ordinary people much, but it was one of the measures that Ukrainian authorities could take to try to be prepared in case of Russian aggression. As you know, Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko ended today 30-day martial law. But tensions in Ukrainian-Russian relations are not even close to the end. Ukrainian-Russian relations have been severely damaged for the last four and a half years since Russia illegally annexed Ukrainian peninsula of Crimea in March 2014 and started a military conflict in the eastern part of Donbass a month later. Since, the, since then, except uh, Crimea, 3% of Ukrainian territory are not controlled by uh, official Ukrainian government. Over 10,000 people have been killed and many of them are civilians. And 2.7 million people have turned into internally displaced people. Uh, uh, people. Um, the global community has got a lot of evidence that Russia fueled the country with weapons, its soldiers, uh, insurgents from different hotspots, finances, and of course with propaganda. But Russia has not ever admitted its involvement in the military actions or its violation of the military law, and it's not a surprise. Before Ukraine, uh, Russia had practiced the same actions in other republics of post-Soviet space, like Moldova, Georgia, or Azerbaijan. So the 25th of November was really a very distinguishing uh, point in Ukrainian-Russian relations, as this was the first time when Russia openly attacked Ukraine using its military forces. At that day, three Ukrainian ships were uh, seized, two of them were rammed and uh, even shelled. Since 25th of November, 24 Ukrainian sailors have stayed uh, captured in Russian jails. That's why Ukrainian president, uh, the National Council of Security and Defense, and parliament used this opportunity to show the world that Russian aggression is still ongoing, and that's why they tried to introduce the martial law. That However, incident, of course, course Julia, there were different discussions. That, that, incident political in the, that incident in the Kerch Strait, of course, leading to the Azov Sea, and there was an accord from 2003 about uh, access to the Azov Sea. Last week, uh, President Putin of Russia said uh, that he will respect that uh, 2003 accord. Do you think that weighed uh, into Poroshenko's decision not to extend the martial law? Actually, President is not going to extend the martial law because um, political opponents and political elite of Ukraine is concerned about um, democracy, democratic upcoming uh, elections that are going to happen in March 2019. Many of political opponents of President Poroshenko saw that he was going to introduce the martial law to delay the presidential elections, as he has not got much uh, electoral support up to now. That's why the martial law was, in, uh, was reduced from 60 days to 30 days, and today is expired. Yes, there is the agreement, you're right, there is the, the agreement from 2003, but it's not very distinguished agreement. So it means that two countries should really act democratically and in open way in the sea and can act, be active and have trade and all the possible relations. But in fact, if two countries are in military um, actions, in military conflict, it's very difficult to stay calm, especially after the Kerch Strait, the Kerch Bridge um, uh, was uh, built this year. Actually, the tensions in the Sea of Azov started immediately after uh, this uh, carriage bridge has been built in May this year. And since then, many of the trade ships, not only Ukrainian ships, but foreign ships, have been stopped, and that damaged uh, the export of Ukraine and brought a lot of, um, uh, a lot of losses in, uh, for economics to Ukraine. All right, Yulia Mendel joining question? us. Did I your question? I'm not sure that I heard it I appreciate well. it. Yulia Mendel joining us live from Kiev. Thank you for your insight.